This is a complete tutorial for the retrofitting of the beam and columns. The first step is you should determine which column or beam you want to retrofit and then you should do uh, the cutting that beams or columns. You must provide enough support to keep the upper structure stable during the cutting. After the removing column or beam is finished then you must provide a framework. It's recommended to use steel uh, framework and that should have enough support during the uh, construction. After that, you should uh, provide the reinforcement based on your design requirement and uh, uh, assemble them correctly based on the recommendation. And then the concrete pouring is a critical part, which is difficult. You can use a shovel or bucket and transfer the concrete to the beam uh, and pour it. You must provide during the framework a uh, space which can we uh, fill the concrete or pour the concrete to the beam and columns like this uh, you can see using shovel and back it is also available and then you must keep the vibrator to run and after uh, the concrete pouring is finished and at least it should be seven days after that remove the concrete uh, framework and then remove that extra size or the extra uh, uh, part of the concrete which we provided for the concrete pouring area uh, then uh, that will be a uh, quite easy part and uh, sometimes you can uh, make it uh, after three days in case if your area is hot and the concrete already formed 